it's all about secrecy. It's all about uh, doing things that they want without any accountability to the Victorian taxpayer. And at a time when our debt is at the extreme levels that it is. Meanwhile in Victoria... Uh, it was revealed this week the Victorian government approved a secret taxpayer-funded bailout of Tennis Australia. Now, that was on the eve of the last election. I mean, I think the number is now up around $100 million. Why was this money handed over to Tennis Australia? And has the Labor government, in your view, given us a, a proper explanation as to what happened here? Well, look, let's, let's be clear. We're very supportive of the Australian Open and the economic benefits that it does bring to Victoria from a tourism and from a jobs perspective. But this payment only come to light through FOI requests put through from the leader's office, through John Pesuto's office. And had those FOI requests not gone in, this payment would have never been known to the Victorian taxpayer. Um, this was at a time when Tennis Australia then went on to post a $62 million surplus in that year. Uh, a Labor government will always look for ways in which we can provide assistance to those in need. We'll do so, of course, though, in a context. Uh, the context here is we don't want to add to any inflationary pressure. Uh, we still don't have a clear answer as to why that payment was made. And I think this is just what we see from the Allen Labor government and from the Andrews Labor government prior to that. Absolute nonsense. And that's all it is. It's all about secrecy. It's all about uh, doing things that they want without any accountability to the Victorian taxpayer. And at a time when our debt is at the extreme levels that it is. I didn't think it was appropriate. Uh, you've got uh, an event in the Australian Open and with Tennis Australia, they're commercially viable. And I think that anyone could agree. Look, if Tennis Australia after the pandemic needed an, uh, some yep. assistance to keep themselves going, the public would be fine that, with that because the event is a great event. Uh, if you were just to uh, distribute uh, additional cash to people you potentially make inflation worse and therefore don't help to solve the problem. But the government shouldn't be hiding behind uh, secret payments that only come to light through these FOI requests. Well, particularly when you're given, as you said, the, 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 the budget a deficit in Victoria is horrendous. I mean, you, we paid $380 million, us taxpayers, not to have the Commonwealth Games, add $100 million to Tennis Australia. There's nearly half a billion dollars with someone just writing out cheques and not explaining it. This government has just uh, set up a series of pots. We've seen a whole range of waste in order to continue to put that downward pressure on inflation. Look, it's clear they can't manage major events, and I have the events portfolio as well as amongst the others that you mentioned. And, you know, you look at the Commonwealth Games, over $600 million, that's going to cost us of what we know so far. You reckon it'll be 600 well, well, that's what we're at now with the uh, payment of the contracts, the tenders, the cancellation, which was $350 million in itself. So we're up over that $600 million mark so far of what we know. Uh, you add this to the $100 million that Tennis Australia has received. Now, they're going to play that off as the extension of the event. We know the event's not going anywhere. Well, the Tennis other Australia one, too, that, that we should remember, is they re-signed the Grand Prix contract uh, when they didn't need to and gave away the, the actual rights to the paddock club. Which is incredible. That's the huge revenue maker, isn't it, for Formula One. For anyone that's been to the Grand Prix, that, that paddock club experience... They can't run what... major events, as no. you said. And we need a sustainable major events calendar. We've always been that events capital of Australia, but it's got to be value for money for the taxpayer. There's got to be a return on investment. And as you would see, through what they've done now with Tennis Australia, what they did with the Grand Prix, these major events are holding the government to ransom and the government's caving in. And I'm very confident that's exactly what Victoria will do. Do it or Victorians will die.